oh my God, like, I just don't get it. I, where's my mom to just slap the shit out of all of them and say, put on your tie, put on a tie for three hours. You can do it. We walk in heels for hours. Overall, I thought it was, I'm going to give it a really good. Okay. Nice. I'm going to give it a really good. No real jaw dropping moments, but a lot of really pretty and beautiful and really good and not a lot of, oh dear gods. Nice. You know what I mean? And it was the night of the necklace. Mm. I think I counted just in the pre-show, just from my notes and count, I was up to 12. So I'm sure there were more, but like I was kind of keeping score going, oh God, how many, how many? And it was one amazing necklace after the next. No one was really safe, but there, it wasn't very risky. You always want a big moment. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure anyone necessarily served us that, but yet it was less, runway and more, dare I say, wearable mm. with nods to big runway. You know, Emma Stone. Amazing, beautiful Louis Vuitton, that peplum. Now, in real life, no one's going to be able to wear that peplum. But it wasn't like exaggerated. Again, really pretty, no real drama. Mm -hmm. No real, real, like where share or, you know what I mean? It, 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 that's what it was lacking. Yeah, there was no, you know, 10 best of all time. Emma Stone, mm -hmm. Anna Taylor Joy, in that was a Dior. Unbelievable. Zendaya, of course. But again, not where, remember last year was Zendaya in the shirt and the skirt, like jaw dropping. Tonight, super pretty. You expect her to look that good. You know, Margot Robbie, I think could have given us a little bit more, but I like that she went in a dark color, you know, against all the Barbie. I'm just looking at my notes here. Carrie Mulligan in that Balenciaga, I don't know if you saw it, but beautiful, Emily Blunt. That was our fashion moment with the Scaparelli, which people don't get. And I was like, why doesn't it fit? I'm like, no, it's architectural. That's what it's supposed to do. I mean, she was our big fashion moment with those necklaces. Um, I loved Issa Rae. Who else I love? Lapita, Lapita Nyong'o. Is she never misses. Again, a beautiful presenter dress, which is what she was. And she had that icy blue color. She, we started to see all those sort of softer, I wouldn't call them pastel. I call them a little bit more icy colors. Hence why I'm in the blue, because we saw a bit of that. Um, also, I, I'm sorry, I'm just checking my notes, who I thought looked amazing. What did I give her? I gave her one of my honorable mentions, Brittany Snow. That marigold yellow, so beautiful on her. I think she's just, it was time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, you know what? It almost felt like the period at the end of the Barbie story, which I really liked. Like, she's like, okay, we're done. We've done this. And I thought that was, you know, I don't know if that was intentional, but I think it can be read that way. It's a period. I always look at what dress would I want to wear. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the, America Ferrera was one of the dresses I like, oh, I'd love to wear that. I'd love to have that one in my closet because you can actually wear them. And that's what, you know what? That was a lot of it too tonight was it was dresses you could actually wear. <sighs> there was, there was a couple. Um, Becky G, wrong award show. She didn't get the memo. Um, Ariana Grande went for a big fashion moment, did not work. 
too much of everything, too much pink, too big of sleeves. Now, what I was saying to someone also was, if it hadn't been all pink, I think I would have liked it because you gotta love the drama of a big coat in an entrance. But give me the black dress with the pink coat or the pink dress with the black coat. But we had the pink coat, the pink dress, the pink jewelry. It just got, it was just too much. Okay. I appreciate that she always is taking fashion risks. I love that about her. And 90% of the time she can pull it off and make us all believe. Just didn't like the dress. I just didn't, I wouldn't have liked it on the runway. I wouldn't have liked it on anyone else. I didn't like it on her. It felt very costumey to me. But again, I think we fell into the too much category. You're wearing a beautiful green leather. We don't need the dinosaur in the back. You know what I mean? And she rarely misses, and she is one of the women that can do high, high couture, runway level, editorial level fashion in real life. Mm -hmm. I just, I just didn't like it. I understood it. Just didn't like it. I actually really like it. Again, she's not a nominee. So going as a presenter, you're allowed to not be as, not that this isn't dressy. You're, you don't have to be as over the top. It's not your night. Do I like that? Yes. Do I feel like it's a spring gown? Yes. Like. Like, don't love, like. But she looks, by the way, amazing. Amazing. How could oh she be God. a new mother and look so rested? It's a uh, seriously. <laughs> I mean, it is, she looks like she just came back from vacation rested. So I don't know if she has a baby that's like the best sleeper in the world, but she looks way too good for that. Michelle Yeoh and Jodie Foster, Michelle Yeoh and Balenciaga and uh, Jodie Foster and Weiwei nailed it for who they, where they are in their lives. They're not the young women on the carpet. They're both 60 plus and they looked beautiful. They didn't look old. They weren't wearing clothes that aged them. They didn't try and completely cover up. And they're at that age where a lot of women then fall into either trying to pull off something that's too young or covering up and looking too old. So I think they were a lesson in that. The other one that no one's talking about that I thought killed it was um, Gabrielle Union. Carolina Herrera, and what I had heard was it was actually two separate pieces from the collection that she said, why don't we put them together? that the top was literally like a mini dress and the bottom part was like the skirt off another dress. And it was her idea. I love and that. And I love that we actually got to see her idea and her personality and the hair and the makeup and the jewelry. I mean, just for someone who's very tangentially involved in the night, she, she killed it. I'm gonna say this carefully. Wear a f tie. It's the Oscars. I know we are all so cool and can pretend that we can rock this. No, you can't. There is one man in the world who can get away with showing his chest and or not wearing a tie to an award show. And that man is Lenny Kravitz. It, it's, and it's such a pet peeve for me that it makes me, and Bradley Cooper knows better. Robert Downey Jr. I'll give a pass to because he's Robert Downey Jr. But he also knew he was gonna win. So you should wear a tie because they, I always say, you can tell who thinks they're gonna win 
because of how they're dressed. No one's going to take a risk on that night because the picture of you holding your Oscar is the one they run with your obituary. This one. Okay. So I'm going that Bradley Cooper doesn't think he's going to win because he didn't. I mean, it's mind numbing to me. You can take off your tie for all the parties. It is so also, and here I go on a rant, disrespectful. Now, what people don't know is every cameraman, every guy pulling cables, every sound guy, every PA, every single person, every photographer in the press pool must be in a tuxedo. They can do it, but you shouldn't have to. And I'm sure some of the guys had their ties off, but come on. Take a cue from Jeffrey Wright, who I think so far is my pick for best dressed man. Beyond perfect. The traditional shirt with the covered buttons, the proper bow tie, the proper collar, uh, the little brooch. That's what you're supposed to look like. You know, Grind Gosling, I just didn't like the whole thing. Again, you have all these award shows leading up to this where you can do that. And last time I checked, none of you are Lenny Kravitz. Roger Federer, by the way, showed people how to wear the white, which is still a little edgy for me this time of year because technically you're not supposed to wear a white dinner jacket unless it's very hot or tropical or summer. So let's just say... He's pushing ahead to summer, but I'm going to give him that because other than that, he's perfect. The, the, uh, it makes me insane. Put on a tie for three hours. You can do it. We walk in heels for hours. Like, I just, oh my God. Like, I just don't get it. I, where's my mom to just slap the shit out of all of them and say, put on your tie. I think I am gonna have to go with Emma Stone. A, the necklace was spectacular. Her skin is ridiculous. Her hair and makeup was flawless. And she carried off a very couture dress without it feeling, she owned it. She owned that dress. She wore it, it did not wear her. And you know, she also is getting like award for best dress through the whole award season. You know what I mean? Like she's been the front runner the whole time. For me, Becky G. I feel like she was on the, she, she got the red carpets confused with another one she was at last week. I feel like someone made a mistake and said, oh crap, that was tomorrow, next week's dress. 